Hello you 10 and welcome to the uh, first of a few videos that discuss and answer questions from 2021 half yearly. <coughs> okay, let's get started. So question 1a uh, fire write the coordinates of the points okay coordinates are the points easy question um, firstly a is uh, level with negative 3 on the X always do the X value first negative 3 with the X and 2 on the Y B is level with 6 on the X and negative 2 on the Y. C well, is over here, so it's level with negative 4 on the X and negative 6 on the Y. And D is level with 2 on the X and 6 on the Y. Done. Distance of the line segment AB, I might just fill that in, AB, okay, distance, I'm going to do this two ways, once by just the coordinates, and once by doing the observation of the graph, okay, so, actually no, I uh, Pardon me, I'm going to do this two ways. Once by the coordinates. Oh, okay. Coordinates. Only. And then secondly by looking at the distances they are on the graph. Okay. Coordinates are a, what are we doing? A, B. Negative 3 A is negative 3, 2, and B is 6, negative 2. I'm going to do it this way in case you get asked to do a length distance and there's no graph to work on. So what we're going to do, basically, we're finding this length and that length. So, <coughs> distance here, this length here, is the same as the rise when you're working out the gradient. And so rise is the distance difference between the y values. And so y values are the second. So we've got 2 and negative 2. And we've got to find the difference, which means subtracting. 2 minus negative 2 is 4. And the run is the difference in the x. I'll go the same way, go starting left to right, negative 3 minus 6. Is negative 9. Okay, so once we've got these we can do um, Pythagoras because the distance D for distance I'll put the whole word distance squared equals this squared plus this squared that's where Pythagoras comes in always puts negatives in brackets 4 squared is 16 and negative 9 squared is 81. Uh, 6, 7, 97. So the distance, D for distance, equals the square root of 97. One decimal place. Square root of 97. 
Nine point how many? One decimal place. Nine point eight. No rounding <coughs> up. No. Nope. Nine point eight. Nine point eight. That's the distance. And using the coordinates only. Okay. Using by graph observation, which if you have the graph then makes it a lot quicker. Graph observation, let's do the that's this distance here plus this distance here. Well that's distance here. One, two, three, four. Distance Pythagoras again. Distance squared equals four squared plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine equals well we got ninety seven again. Four squared sixteen, yep. So that's the square root of nine distance is the square root of ninety seven, which is the same answer. So if you have the graph and you were asked to work out distance, make the right angle triangle makes it a lot quicker. If you just have the points, you can do it this way. Coordinates of the midpoint between B and C. Let's have a go back. B and C. B is six negative two. Don't do that. B. Six negative two. That's B and C. Don't do that. C. What have we got? Negative four, negative six. Negative four, negative six. So with midpoint, we add and divide by two. Uh, so the x values first. 6 plus negative 4. Add the negative x values. 6 plus negative 4 equals 2. And that answer divided by 2 is 1. So 1 is the x value of the midpoint. Then we do the same with the y values, add them, negative 2 plus negative 6, uh, negative 2 plus negative 6, that's negative 8. And that divided by 2 is negative 4. There's our midpoint, 1, negative 4. Which would mean one. Where are we? That makes no sense at all. Oh, yes, it does. Because we're going B to C. Yes, find me, B to C. B to C. Oh, B to here we are, we found it. That midpoint, that makes sense. One, there it is, midpoint. There we go, that makes sense. Yes, I'm glad I worked it out, thank you. Very good. Okay, midpoint, add the v x values, add the y values, divide by two. All right, go ahead and determine the equation of the line segment CD using the gradient intercept form y equals mx plus b. Okay, well, for this one, m is the gradient, and b is a y-intercept. Let's see, we're going c to d. c to d. I'm going to go and do that in blue, C to D, okay, C to D, looks like we have a y-intercept of 2, 
That's something. Or intercept equals two. So I can go y equals mx plus two so far. Gradient is rise over run. Okay, let's do the points way just in case you. Oh well, if you're going to you know, if you're going to do that, we need to we we'll use the graph. So rise is this far. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Gradient equals rise over run. Twelve is the rise. Run is from there to there. One, two, three, four, five, six. That equals two. And that's where our M goes there. So the answer would be Y equals, well, the M is two. And we've got our, there we are. There's our equation of the line, CD. Y equals two X plus two. There we are. That will do for this video.